Blogilates, mate. Bimbo Spotlight is on you, okay? Who and what is Blogilates, okay? Basically, Blogilates is just another fitness industry hustler looking to cash in. Now lift that leg out and up. What I want you to do is simply lift it up. If you take a look at her YouTube channel, you can see uh, videos like Butt Blaster, Butt Challenge, Fat Belly, Fat Burner, uh, Fat Burning Cardio, Perfect Leg, Sexy Waist, Thigh Game, you get the point. Now there are claims, both explicitly and implicitly, that these calisthenic type Pilates exercises will help you build muscle and lose weight, lose fat. First thing that really needs to be debunked here is that you can lose weight in a particular area of your body, targeted to fat loss, by doing a particular exercise. This video is called Lower Belly Flattener. The implication is that these ab exercises are going to help you with targeted fat loss on your stomach. Very similar video here on the thigh gap. You look at the description, she's literally saying, do this workout and you will lose fat on your thighs. Targeted fat loss. This theory of spot reducing fat is just a blatant myth, you know, and this famous study back in the 70s where they took tennis players that clearly have one dominant hand and one non-dominant hand. And whilst there were differences in muscles, there's no differences in the fat on different spots which are used more or less. In fact, spot reduction is so bogus, I'd put it in the same category as other weight loss methods like body wrapping behind the other knee and then you're gonna kick that leg up while pointing your toe right now muscle development this is where things get interesting okay a lot of girls say, I, I don't want to be big i don't want muscles i just want to look toned you know i, I don't want to look like fucking schwarzenegger uh, ladies listen to me okay you're never going to be big like me you can take all the fucking steroids in the world, you don't have the fucking genetics, okay? <laughs> and you know, even someone like Dylan Bailey, you're not going to look like that without some special supplements, if you know what I mean. Now, just like there's the myth of spot reduction with fat loss, I think there's also this myth of muscle toning when it comes to muscle development. There's no such thing as muscle toning, okay? See, the woman on the right has a toned physique, and the woman on the left is skinny fat, but they're both the same weight. There is no real difference in muscle tone, just the difference in body composition. So in light of that, you know, blog lays exercises, Pilates, Tai Chi Yoga, these are all great exercises for health. But they're not good for the things she says they're good for, which are toning muscle and fat loss. All these things people told me, keep messing with my hair. Yo, when I thought the uh, Pilates with Laura was sexual innuendo, shit man, like, she's gonna give Nigel Lawson a run for her money. I have a real thing about sizable cock, because I like the depth. Anyway, these animal foods like eggs, beef, bacon, poultry, okay, they are not healthy. Talking about animal protein, which is very high in methionine, linked to cancer growth and reduced longevity. Talking about heterocyclic amines, which are carcinogenic, produced during grilling and frying. Talking about saturated fat and cholesterol content in animal foods, which are linked with atherosclerosis or heart disease. Talk about the excess ammonia and metabolic acidosis, which burdens the liver and kidneys or even the nitrous amines and putrescines produced during fermentation and putrefaction in the gut because meat can't be digested properly by humans. And I gotta tell you something, bacon is good for me. And these are just the ill effects of regular old meat. This doesn't even begin to explore the negative effects of all the uh, hormones and things like arsenic which are pumped into animals to make them grow faster to the extent that 80% of all the pharmaceuticals in the world are used in agriculture. Now this and this alone is enough 
to be fucking shocked by the fact that Vlogalive would call these foods clean. Cheap clean eats. 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 I'm sorry, there's nothing clean about that, okay? And it's all fucking fake, man. You play your nice music. Oh, welcome to Cheap Clean Eats. I'm Cassie Ho. Welcome to my nice clean kitchen, my beautiful cameras. And we're going to serve some fucking disgusting, rotten, putrefying flesh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the patty is super duper simple. And on top of this, I don't think that the 51% of greenhouse gas emissions that come from animal agriculture is very clean either. <laughs> Recently though, Vlogalive has been making some more vegan foods, plant-based foods. Yeah, snack bars, smoothies, uh, sweet potato pancakes. Uh, it's pretty obvious Vlogalize doesn't have any interest in ethical veganism. She just sees a plant-based diet as another diet trend that she can cash in on, much like gluten-free or paleo. <laughs> and paleo but i gotta give credit where credit is due uh you know sweet potato pancakes is a big step up from bacon pancakes yeah plant-based diet based around whole foods has been found to be good for longevity uh reduce chronic disease and good for weight management because the plant foods are high in vitamins minerals fiber and antioxidant and they're low in these metabolic waste products that i've talked about previously in the video contained in the animal products and junk <laughs> Any fraction or inkling of congratulations I might have been tempted to feel for Bogalize for making these kinds of videos just completely evaporated when she started making these false copyright claims. Cassie Ho has been on a rampage filing fallacious copyright claims against anyone on YouTube who has criticized her. It's not just me and Freely, it's also smaller channels like Rice Binger, a guy who has only 2,000 subs. Key point here is think about it. Does Bloglives care more about money or about health? People are making criticisms against her saying, oh, this is not healthy, you should think about that. And she's shutting that down, filing false copyright claims, illegal copyright claims. Why? So that she can make money potentially at the expense of people's health. Oh my god, fully real Christina. What are we making today? We're making no fake cupcakes. And once we're done making our fully real cupcakes, we're gonna eat them while we make some fully real copyright claims. There's other stuff we've covered here, like Blogilates dieting down to a very unhealthy body fat percentage for a bikini contest, or that video, the perfect body she made. But oh no, people make mean comments on the internet because I don't have the perfect body. But I think I've said pretty much everything I want to say. You know, I've shared my comments and criticisms on this bimbo, Cassie Ho, Blogilates. To sum up, her exercises are inefficient and ineffective. Her diet advice is terrible and unhealthy. And she's a fitness industry hustler that only cares about money. And she's proven this by making illegal false copyright claims.